I'm out here at Rocky Mountain Raceway. I'm here with Robbie Crowther. It's race day. And I heard there's some drama going on with the car. Well, with the car itself, we're doing okay. Last night we had to stay up till about two o'clock in the morning and I actually ended up spending the night here in the back of my truck with my wife, just because we were late and tired. I had to tear the top of the motor off and seal a couple leaks. And, and uh, we had a few issues. The car rang beautifully yesterday. Um, it uh, everything's going pretty smooth there there is some drama going on at the racetrack because of tire issues and whatnot but it's okay it's it's just part of racing all right so and are you ready to race today then or i'm, I'm actually not going to race today okay. I'm, I'm actually going to step down and let mel anders drive his uh I'm, I'm the motor builder for his as well okay me and my wife are and he's having some issues um and kind of to put this funny he's getting kind of old doesn't have many years <laughs> and i've got many years of racing in front of me and and there's a, there's a lot of big things going on tonight, and I'd rather see the car do good. And Mel's great behind the wheel. I trust him fully. Um, even if something does happen, I know it's not his fault. But uh, it's, it's going to be a great night. Mel's a good driver. Well, we're here with Mel. Mel, you're a friend of Robbie's. You've been yeah. racing with him for a while? Yeah, I've raced with his dad, raced with him, yeah. Great. Good friends. And and uh, Robbie's told us a little bit about what's going on today. I guess you're gonna race the car today. Yeah, he's uh, he's put a lot of work into it. Yeah. And my hot rod's having a lot of motor trouble and he just wants to go out and do good. And he's, he's offered me a ride and I'm happy to drive this hot rod. He, he knows what he's doing out there. I'm sorry to hear your car's not doing that great today. I'm sure that's disappointing. Sure. But at the same time, you've got a great friend, Robbie. He's gonna let oh, you yeah. try to go out and win it for you, so. Well, most racers are all that way. You know, sprint car guys are all. Yeah. That, this guy over here broke the front axle and needed a hub. My guys went home and grabbed a bunch of calipers and stuff to help him get put back together. That's really cool. And that's just the way everybody is. And Robbie, he's, he's like, you know, this is his second year, I think, running. Right. He's like, just jump in it, man. See how it feels. Yeah. And it's a pretty good little hot rod, so I was excited to do it. show where we travel around the back roads of America searching for extraordinary stories from ordinary people just like you. We look for torqued up rides, jacked up rides. I love this Jeep Rubicon. It has a six liter Hemi. This thing is perfect for going off road at Moab. Look at this. We've got a 72 Corvette Stingray convertible with an incredible story behind it. But this, <laughs> a 67 Corvette with the 327 tri-power motor in it. This thing is my all-time favorite car. These are some of the incredible rides you're gonna see on Torque Life. 